Hey everyone, I thought I'd make a quick video on how to program your GPS in Flight Simulator X. Uh, so the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to know where you want to go. Uh, usually it would be an airport, um, but if you're going to be flying to an airport you need to know what is called the ICAO code, which is uh, the code given to the airport to um, basically to give it, e each airport has a unique code given to them by ICAO. So um, I'm currently at Buttonville Airport in Toronto and I will be making a flight plan to fly to uh, Toronto Pearson and I know that the uh, Pearson ICAO code is CYYZ so I already know my ICAO code but this is something you'll need. So from here you're going to want to press this D button that has the arrow through it. It's called the direct to waypoint page. If you click that, this is where you're going to put in that ICAO code. So you're going to use the, there's two different dials down here on the bottom right. You're going to use the smaller one to um, find the letter of the code or the number. And the bigger one is going to be how you shift on to the next uh, letter or number of the code. So. Uh, first we're going to start with putting in the C, so it goes through the numbers first and then goes to the letters, so C, and then if you go uh, the opposite direction that I was going before, it'll take you to the last letters of the alphabet first, so uh, it makes it faster if you're finding letters like Y, C, Y, um, Y, Z, Toronto Pearson International Airport and you press enter and enter and then it'll say activate and you press enter again so as you can see a line just appeared on my gps from where i'm at which is buttonville airport to toronto pearson airport but um that's just direct to the airport it's not any kind of approach it's just if you want to get from point a to point b that's how you do it and um, from here there's further options such as uh, approaches so for if you're going to set up an approach you're going to need to know what runway you're going to be landing on which depending on the airport you could know before you even get there uh, for example uh, if you're making a short flight like this and, and the, the airport only has one runway you're going to know that you're going to you're going to be landing into the wind whether it be at one end of the uh, runway or the other so you can check what the winds are there and um, you can be pretty sure of what runway you're going to be landing on however with an airport like Toronto Pearson you're likely not going to know until you contact the tower and they let you know but let's just pretend for this example we already know where we're landing and so from here you're going to go to the procedure page and it'll automatically go to select approach. So if you press enter, it will show you all the approaches you can uh, you can choose. So you're going to use your your dial again, and I'm going to use let's say mm, let's say we'll use the ILS for runway three three left. So we'll hit enter <coughs> and we'll just do vectors and we'll load it. So if we go back to our um, back to our GPS and zoom out, um, it shows the vectors to runway 33 left. Uh, however, you, you'll notice our, our line that's pink is still the one going directly to the airport, and that's simply because we haven't activated the vectors, we've only uh, programmed it into the GPS. So if we go back to procedures, uh, and we it, it'll automatically go to activate vectors to final if you've chose uh, the vector option, um, and then you'll hit enter. And as you can see, the vector, uh, the the final for that for that runway um, has turned pink, and that means that that is where your your airplane is going to be headed if you uh, turn on your navigational hold 
uh, button on the on your um, on your autopilot. So I hope this um, quick demonstration was helpful. I know it's a boring video. However, if you're trying to learn how to use the GPS, this is the best way to do it without all the interruptions of actually flying. Um, so if you have any ideas or if there's anything you want to know for future videos, please leave a comment. If the video helped you, please leave a like. And if you're looking for more content, please subscribe and I will be posting uh, on a regular basis. Thanks for watching.